Assalamu alaikum. My name is Hussein. I am seven years old. All right, Hussein, who's seven years old. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Hassan and I am seven years old. Assalamu alaikum. I'm Yasin. I'm nine years old. Okay, and my name is Mariam and I'm his mama. And this is a book review or a comic book review for the Nora Kids magazines, magazine comic book series. Um, and Yasin is older than the twins, so we're going to get his perspective on the Noor Kids books. Yasin has been reading the Noor Kids magazines for a few years now. Before we had the subscription, Yasin um, would borrow them from his friend, Ismail, yeah. right? Um, and he, so he's been enjoying them for a few years, and we eventually did get our own subscription, and they, now they've been enjoying it at home. Uh, Yasin, I had to pick out the three that you like the most, and these are the three that you picked out. Um, what makes you like Nora Kids magazines? What is it about these comic books that you enjoy? Well, I like about some of them is that, like, it gives you Face this way, okay. ideas of stuff to do like like for peace of mind the first chapter gives tells you like you should make your journal a journal about how you feel and something like that um do you do this that is, do you do a journal about how you feel well it's not exactly i do do on for morning and night but it is like this is the thing. Okay. They like can't, talk they can't about see. it. It's basically to say to talk about with somebody that you you are very close to, um, or that you know very well about. I don't know something that's troubling you. Okay, so what I'm understanding is it advises you to make to journal about things that are bothering you to someone that you are close to. Yes, and what I like about this book is that it also has activities to do in the back and in the middle of the book. I'm going to try to see if I can find one. Thing. Ooh, I found one. So like in this one, it gives you recipes for muffins. So it gives you... Ideas for different sorts of stuff to do. Like, it has a part of, maybe, I don't know, if it's like a hadith or something. Mm -hmm. um, code breaker, like, okay, here's the key and you have to break this code. Oh, and you so, love code breaking. Oh my god, I love it. That's really nice. Um, I asked Hussein to pick three of his favorite magazines, and these are the three that he chose to talk about. Okay, Hussein, what do you enjoy about the Nora Kids magazines? That there's some funny stuff. There's some funny stuff. And, and some cool stuff. What is something that is funny about it? Uh, about what? Anything, anything that you remember from it that was funny. What is, what is funny about this? Her face. <laughs> so Hussein enjoys the illustrations that they have, like this one. Uh, <laughs> he enjoys the illustrations. Who's your favorite character? At the beginning of each book, they have... The different characters that the book is going to be about and they have different illustrations for the different books too these are the four main characters but there are a lot of stuff so it's mainly about students from a school the school is called maple grove elementary who's your favorite character mm. The lion person? The lion one? Do you know how to say his name? Uh, yeah. How do you say it? Esed. Esed, yes, Esed. 
So Esed is your favorite. What do you enjoy about Esed? What makes him your favorite? Uh, and then someone he, he invents stuff and Ooh. he fixes stuff with his friend. Oh, can you relate to that a lot? Because you like to invent stuff and fix stuff? Yeah, like with Legos with Esed. Yeah, that is really nice. What do you enjoy about these magazines? That there's problems, problems and they solve them. Oh, yeah. Can you relate to that? That you have problems sometimes that you have to solve? Uh, yeah. Yeah? <laughs> okay. And um, there's a bunch of characters here. Who's your favorite character? Oh, Esed. Yeah. You know, I asked Hussein who his favorite character was, and he also said Esed. Uh-huh. Isn't that funny? Who is your favorite character? To be honest, I don't know. To be 100% honest, I don't know. <laughs> if you could pick one, who uh, who out of these four are your favorite? Is your favorite? I don't know. You love something about all of them. Yeah. I think I like Esed? More, a little bit more than all of the other What people. do you enjoy about Esed? Well, I like him because some of the other characters are like, oh, it's expensive. But he is kind of an inventor, so he always finds a way to do something. Oh, he's a problem solver. Other people solver, are like, huh? for example, I mean, is like, oh, I can't get this. Well, too bad. I won't ever get this. It's like mm. that. Too bad. I won't ever get this. It's like that. Okay, but you love how Esed finds a way to do it. Yeah. Can I tell you something? Each of your brothers also picked Esed as their favorite <laughs> for different reasons. Wow. Yeah. What makes these comic books so amazing that you love them? That they can solve problems. You love, you love the problem-solving part of it. Yeah. What do you love about Esed? I don't really know. Okay. I just like what he does. What he does? What does he do? He tries to, like, in one of them, in this one, he tries to convince his parents to help him get a key. Ooh. Hmm. And he does it. Interesting. He gets the kitty. He gets the kitty. Spoiler alert, he gets the kitty. <laughs> Yasin has been enjoying these, and would you advise um, children to ask their parents to get it? Do you think that it's worth it for them to get? Yeah? Yeah. Because it has activities and everything. And I also like because in each book and in each part of the book, it teaches you something about something. So, like... One book, it tells you about, like, a surah in the Qur'an. I don't remember which surah. That's okay. But I'm it, sure they tell you different surahs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they tell you surahs. Sometimes they just give you hadiths or recommendations of how to live, like, how to be a better Muslim. Okay. That sounds so. really nice. Um, do you think that these magazines are worth paying money for? Yeah. Yeah? Do you think that um, children should ask their mommies and daddies to get it for them? If they can read. If they can read. Do you think that the children will enjoy it the same if they can't read but somebody else reads for them? Or do you think that they would get the most enjoyment when they can read? It themselves most enjoyment and they can read it themselves yeah because we've had these for a few years and um before we actually had the subscription for it we borrowed other um nor kids magazines from friends right hassan mm -hmm. and that was before hassan and hussein could read but now that they can read and they're more confident in their reading skills they've been really enjoying it um, when they have their alone time that they take, um, every day we do our alone time, and they will sometimes grab a few of these and read these during their alone time, uh, sometimes just in the morning or at night they'll read it. Have you been enjoying these? Yeah. yeah. All right. I, I like the illustration. on the, Look at this one. This is such a fun illustration. 
Because <laughs> <laughs> you made a good food. Yeah. Um, I love the illustrations on these. I love that they all have one of the names of a law, which is really nice. And they have other um, cool little activities. There's a word search. And this one. Um, there's lots of different things in each of them. They, they're not all exactly the same. Um, this one has all of the prophets that were in the Quran, which is really nice. Uh, so it is informational and it's entertaining and the illustrations are beautiful, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so too. Thank you so much, Hassan, for telling me your thoughts on these. We have a bunch of thumbs up in this household and we recommend the Noor Kids. It's worth the money. Thank you so much for listening to Hussein's review of the Noor Kids magazines. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum.